and um, the name of the company is very interesting it's everyday health group right so let's see everyday obviously we all need to be healthy and shrey is actually working there okay uh, thank you so much shrey for providing your time we would like to understand how was your journey into getting into this field of data yeah would you like to throw some light for our audience Sure, sir. So, hello all. Thank you, sir, for welcoming such warm welcomes. And sir, talking about my journey from very starting, so I'll say the very basic knowledge of Python did I did have from YouTube channels and stuff. But so after coming to so sixty did did so sixty did MG. Uh, so I'm sorry, sir, if I'm not able to pronunciate name correctly. But so after coming to no, the, that's right. You nailed it. Yes, sir. So three sixty digit MG. Yes, sir. So after coming to the company, so the getting the nuances, starting from the very the starting basics to ED understanding what how to exactly see the data from what continuous variables are there, from what, what numerical features are there, from starting from very basic EDA to learning about what epochs are there, to from all of KNN, CNN, RNN to KME clustering, sir, every single thing to from waiver from very basics to advanced analytics that is from every bit nuances, so understanding it. Okay, giving providing my deep knowledge so that even when I sit in interviews right now, I can easily clear any round, any company. I can probably say any company can be out there. I can at least clear who runs some interview out of four without even studying, without even doing any practice. Uh, that what confidence I have gained from, especially from the company. So that has been, I'll say, my growth journey and the understanding that I've got from the company. Wonderful, wonderful, Shrey. Your confidence is oozing out. That's I'm really happy for you. That's the kind of confidence everyone has to carry, no matter which company, no matter which role. I would nail it, right? Good, amazing confidence. And uh, Shrey, I have another question for you. As part of 360 Digit MG training, you also worked on a few projects, internship okay. projects. How helpful were they? Can you throw some light on that as well, Shrey? So the internship projects, I also the very first thing was initially they started out with the uh, initializing the group. I still remember the name Ronak was a leader in that group. He was the one that initiating every single thing. He from very he had good experience with Python and all stuff. So uh, the best part I have learned about the teammates that in Sheshit and Dilip and Jay is that the people are always helpful. Even the cohort or the teammates that you have that you form group with they always help you. And so the internship projects were my internship projects were based on data migration uh, from Hadoop to cloud. That what we built in the during our that project system. But sir, I'll say the internship projects will help with the introducing our introduction to the real time world projects because data migration in every any company, any company in next three four years is gonna always gonna migrate. Initially they were migrating from Hadoop to cloud. Now they are trying to migrate within cloud from SQL Server to Databricks. And for sure in in upcoming for future the Scala is also upcoming in. So so that data migration project or the data enhancement is always there. Because company wants to keep up with that data needs and want to cater all of the data needs to stakeholders very perfectly. Because if the company is earning a lot, they're always very sincere and very, very attracted towards all of these new tech stack and technologies. That what I'll say, it has helped me a lot to gain the experience about how to exactly look into data, how to look into what architectures are there. So that what internship has done for me, I'll say specifically. So yes, sir, that's about it. Wonderful, wonderful, uh, Shri. And also you need to have the stomach to learn the new things. It seems like you're very hungry for the new learnings. Amazing. That is what will keep us uh, moving here you know, and, and help us climb up the ladder. Good, Shri. I'm extremely happy for that. And one final question, Shri. A lot of our students ask this question on how do I actually get into this field of data? And when they hear directly from our students who got placed, they really gain a lot of confidence. So what would be single most important suggestion from your side, Shri, to help our students get into this field of data? Uh, the very first I'll say, sir, is enthusiasm to learn. Uh, nothing else is required. Nothing. I am from mechanical background, so I am 21 pass out. Data and mechanical engineering. I had no idea about what data looks like, what Python is. I started out in 2020 December after my college, I was not placed in college, so I and during our college days, I was not even even to crack the company PCS. I was that lame, I'll say. I have not even had confidence to even write a single Python code. But 2020 December, I started out coding, started out learning Python. It was just I'll say enthusiasm. And sir, even I was unemployed, 
so that money money motivation was always there but sir that at this he hasn't to learn and grow answer the i'll say uh, initially yes the company structure i'll say uh, when you when you see the that cost 70k or 80k it might seem a lot at that time but sir i'll say when i now when i now i see at what package i am right now that sir i'll say it's more than whatever the cost structure was that it's more than uh, it's basically it's less than my salary that i'm earning right now it's not even half of my salary so so that specific uh, that roi is a lot it's just that you need enthusiasm to learn the rest teachers will do i'll say because uh, the amount of csv sheets that we are getting so still remember in a week we have to solve at least 10 to 8 csv sheets so that amount of data that we have right now in data science that the structure that so apart from that people say why do we need data science course from any specific company like this actually the dtch mg uh why do we need that and always say it's always for the road map and the teachers guidance because very because sir, there are very good videos on youtube so I, I have been very true but sir even from the company has a lot of videos posted but sir that specific road map and guidance from teachers because sir i have i i i do not remember how many times i used to go on that doubt session class just log log that into in and just get my doubts cleared why do i have to do this specific piece of code why this is why this is not working and sir never i have seen any teacher bulge out or even slightly uh, like get irritated on my questions but even my uh, even i file say my questions were lame enough away from very basic python to starting of very big questions but they were always that so i'll say just enthusiasm is something that wonderful wonderful shrey well said so there you go friends you always need to be hungry and enthusiastic your uh, zeal will always take you to newer positions and you'll be able to easily scale newer heights right thank you thank you so much ray for such nice words and i'm certain you're going to rock the show and good that you did not get placed as part of your uh, campus placement because uh, you know you would certainly not be earning more than your friends you know who got placed oh, in campus please that's I a good thing understand. which has happened it this is called as blessing in disguise you know that there's a problem so all the best i'm certain you will rock i i can just make it out uh, based on your confidence itself that you're going to successfully you know scale up the corporate ladder thank you so much ashri all the best so, thanks a lot sir have a great day ahead